Hi guys, welcome. Um, well, welcome to week 25 um, and uh, Monday. So um, today is a snow day actually till um, it's a two hour delay until 10 a.m. Um, and then I'm gonna actually be gone um, the rest of the day. So I'm gonna get you guys set up for what you need to know for the rest of the week and, um, and to work asynchronously today, which I know you'll be amazing at. Um, so let me go ahead and um, pull that up. Let's see here. Okay. Awesome. So if you go into Ms. Napkis' classroom, you'll see, um, you know, please watch a live video. No live classes today, Monday 3-4, and you're going to be working asynchronously. Also, I wanted to draw special attention to the previous announcement here on iReady. Um, just really making sure friends are doing, you know, you should be doing 39 to 40 minutes a day on iReady, guys. That's really only 10 minutes a day. Um, and so, but really make sure that you're doing reading and math, okay? Um, and we've kind of talked about how to, because um, the scores are really low for last week. So I know you guys are going to do an amazing job this week. Everybody should be in this range right here for reading and math, not just like one or two people. We should all be around 39 to 40 minutes a week week okay so we're going to so yeah um just a quick reminder we'll, we're gonna keep practicing and and getting that done um so for this week um if you'll look under go to assignments you guys are really good about checking your assignments um so scroll down um you know, first make sure that there's, if you've, you've completed everything from last week, everything's turned in. Um, and so for, you'll see for week 25, it'll be ELA homework, and math homework, and science homework. So if you click on the language arts homework for week 25, you'll see the story. And um, so you can read the story. Um, you can practice reading it yourself. You can have the, you can click on the immersive reader to have it read to you. And then you're gonna take the quiz, right? Just three short questions. If you click on take quiz, it'll take you to um, just three short uh, questions about the hawk, okay? Um, so read your story, answer the questions, um, and then I ready, you guys. Um, you wanna do at least two lessons. So um, what you wanna do, and we've talked about this before, is go under the completed work screen and take a screenshot of that, okay? And I can go ahead and include, I'll, after this I'll post a video on how to, if some of you forgot how to take a screenshot, um, we can, uh, I'll include that, just so you guys know, um, so. Yeah, but please take a screenshot. I think most of we've we've done this before. You've showed me how to do it. Take a screenshot after you've done your two lessons, okay? And then we're gonna be doing, um, I assigned pages 103 and 104 in your skills practice book. So we're gonna go through talking about suffixes Y and L-Y. Um, so you wanna work on that. Um, take a picture of your work and, and try to upload it. You can also click here. Um, this will take you to a word wall practice, okay? And an Edpuzzle link. Um, so please complete that. Again, you have all week to do this, so don't feel like you have to get it all done um, today. But please be working on this. You can work. You can start on it today, um, since I will be out, um, and you can get a lot done here, guys. So let me know if you need anything. Um, you know, these are all set to upload the pictures and upload anything. Okay, also in the assignments tab, we have a math, which is exciting. Let's see, uh, we're still talking about shapes. Um, so scroll down to math homework week 25. Here we go. So this is all about shapes. There is a fun, um, you know, you can create your own and sort them. And there is a fun uh, PDF link to this if you want to print it out or draw your own. And you're gonna categorize the shapes. You're gonna sort the shapes. Um, we will also be working on this in class this week, but I would love for you guys to get started. So here's just your sheet with, um, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shapes. Um, and so you get, you get to, um, put them in groups and I've kind of started a table here so you guys can kind of see um, how, how are we gonna organize these? Whoops. Um, so you can go with shapes with three sides, shapes with four sides or shapes with more than four sides. 
Okay, so just kind of be thinking about that. Get your shapes uh, drawn out or cut out, and we'll talk about that more tomorrow as well. Um, and then, of course, your eye ready. Work, you know, log in and work on a lesson. Take a screenshot. Um, click here to go to eye ready. Click on math. So you need to be doing reading and math. Okay. Um, when you finished a lesson, capture the screenshot of completed work. And then, of course, there is a fun ed puzzle. You can click on this link um, to complete those questions as well. Okay, so um, lots of fun stuff to do in math. You can color these, um, you know, just get started on those shapes. Okay, also, we haven't started the science yet for this week, but you guys can get a head start by watching the video. Um, so this is exciting, and then there's some fun questions we'll be talking about. So if you go to Science Homework Week 25, it's how could you win a tug of war against a bunch of adults? Okay, so if you click on this, it will take you to the, the video, um, and you guys can kind of get started on uh, the first part of that. Um, so kind of watching the video, learning, reading through the vocabulary, practicing the vocabulary on a word wall. Um, and at the very end here, um, you can take the quiz. So I would wait until we go through this in class to take the final quiz, but you could definitely do your word wall practice, um, practice the vocabulary and get started on the first video, okay? Um, and so that's all, except this week I did add, you guys, a lot of us have been asking about the, um, writing prompts so I know that you are big fans uh, and so I did add a week 25 writing prompt so if you scroll down 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 you'll see we took a kind of a break from the writing prompts but I think um, they are back by popular demand and this is fun because you'll get to respond to other people's other students writing so you'll do a 10 minute free write use complete sentences where are these characters going what could they find inside the cave what is a possible problem they might encounter? I don't know, but it's up to you, right? To kind of, um, to talk about that. So what you want to do, remember guys, um, you you will be using the um, reply button, okay? You'll reply to this, you'll write your response, um, and then you'll get to respond to two other students. Okay, give them some encouragement, let them know what you're thinking. Um, so you get to read, uh, you know, so you can leave two responses, which I think is awesome because I love seeing what you guys write and your positive responses for other students. So, okay, so lots of fun stuff, lots of lots to work on here, guys. Um, I will be, um, you know, I will be out of pocket uh, until late this afternoon. But if you have any questions, you can email me and I'll be around right after um, asynchronous time. So. Okay, so I think you've got a lot to work on. You're doing a great job. Remember, please, please be spending um, 40 minutes a week on iReady. That's reading and math. So that's really comes down to only 10 minutes a day, guys. You could do it. So, um, all right, I will talk to you soon. Have a great week. Good job today.